The two features that we'll be going over are the watch window and evaluate formulas. First of all, the watch window is used to watch a cell while you're in another part of your worksheet or workbook. For example, I've got the monthly payment and it's based upon the principal amount, the interest rate, and the number of payments. And down below I've got the paid interest month by month. So the first month is going to be $240, then the next month a little less and so on until I scroll all the way down to the very bottom of that column and I use the sum function in cell D70 as you can see up here in the formula bar to add up that entire range so I can get the total amount in interest paid. So when I scroll back up and I'm like hmm let me go ahead and change the number of payments from 32 to 30 to find out what the total amount of interest will be paid then I have to scroll back down to see it and that can be very annoying up and down up and down instead you can go ahead and use the watch window feature that will watch one cell while you're looking at another in another part of the worksheet or workbook. How do you ask? Well, come with me, neighbor. Let's come up here and click on the Formulas tab, go to the Formula Auditing group, and click on Watch Window. And there it is. You can go ahead and click on the title bar of it to move it around. As you can see, the four-way arrow means you can move it up, down, left, or right. So you got a floaty here. And then you can just come over here, select the cell that you want to add to it, and then click on Add Watch. And it says, if you haven't done so already, select the cell that you want to add, and then click Add. And there it is. It's got the name of the workbook, as you can see up here in the title bar, Watch and Evaluate Formulas. And if you want to see it down below here, then go ahead and hover in between the two column headers, or the labels for the columns, until you can see arrows pointing in opposite directions. Then click and drag out to see more, or in to see less. You can double click really fast to do a best fit. Let me go ahead and click and drag it back. Then the name of the worksheet, Loan Amortization, as you can see down below, there it is. And then the cell, and then the value of the cell, and then the function or formula within the cell. So, when I click off of it, it doesn't disappear, does it? When I scroll up, it stays with me. So far, so good. So if I increase the number of payments from 30 to 40 and hit enter, I can stay right there and look at the results for that cell without having to scroll down to see the results. Cool. Wait, but don't buy yet. If you want to get right back down to cell D70, you can just go ahead and double click on it really fast and it takes you right to it. Awesome. And then if you don't want a floaty here, you want to go ahead and dock the watch window. You can do so by clicking and dragging it up to the top until it docks and there you go. Now it's not a floaty, it doesn't get in your way, but you got less of a viewing area, so you have to maybe scroll a bit more, but whatever works for you. If you want to de-dock it, as it were, then you can come up here and click and drag until it pops out, and then when you're done, close out, and then to bring it back up, go ahead and click on Watch Window, and it still keeps it there until you go ahead and select it and delete it. Now if I go to another worksheet within the workbook, click on New Sheet, it's still there, so it doesn't matter where you go. This is your puppy that's going to be following you around everywhere you go, within the workbook that is. Let's go ahead and go back to the worksheet and then select it, delete the watch, close out, we're done. Next is the evaluate formulas feature. Let's go ahead and scroll to the top. I've got my payment function here, as you can see up here in the formula bar, PMT. And it has, if you want to break it down, D4 is being divided by 12. And then D5, the value of that is 40, and then it's subtracting cell D3, which is the principal amount, to give us the total monthly payment. Now, if you have a complex formula or nested functions and formulas, and you want to evaluate it one step at a time, then take a look at the evaluate formulas and see if that's going to be helpful for you by helping you break it down. So, for example, with the cell selected that we want to analyze, the function that is, or formula within the cell, then come up here on the Formulas tab, go to the Formula Auditing group, and it's right there. Evaluate Formula. And you can see in the pop-up it says it debugs a complex formula, evaluating each part of the formula individually. Stepping through the formula part by part can help you verify it's calculating correctly. Go ahead and click on it, opens it up, and there's your formula. And then down below it says to show the results of the underlying expression, click Evaluate. So the underline is the next step. Then, the most recent result is going to appear italicized. So click on Evaluate, and there you go. The result is italicized, which is 0.12, which is the value there, 12%, which is 0.12, and it's being divided by 12. Go ahead and click Evaluate. 
and you can see the result of that. The recent result is italicized, and then the next one that we're going to be stepping into is underline. So let's go ahead and click on evaluate cell D5. When you go in there, the value or the result of that is 40, as you can see right there. And as you can see, this isn't a too complex function to be able to use this feature here, but nonetheless, you're getting a feel for it, and so you can go ahead and kick it up a notch if you have more complex functions or formulas or some really nasty nested formulas that you got to work with. In any case, there's the result. Here's the next one, D3. Click Evaluate. It's negative 2400. Click Evaluate again. The final result that, of course, you can see right there. And then you can go ahead and restart over again.